So now we have to figure out how do you get a macroscopic object to charge up? And the answer is you charge by rubbing. It doesn't sound very technical, but that's actually how electrostatics got started, is charging things up by rubbing. So what I'm going to do is rub this Teflon rod with this cat pelt. So unfortunately, one animal did die for the sake of Physics 102X. It was an ugly cat, though, so nobody really cared. And as I rub it, we're going to have three lines of evidence that something is happening. Okay, the first is sound. As I rub this, you can actually hear sort of a crackling sound. Let me hold it close to my mic. It kind of crackles. So you got a sound. The second, for the second, I'm going to have Alex come. Alex has been helping me with the class, working on some of those 3D visualizations. Hello. And I'm going to have him hold out his bare arm, and I'm going to bring the charge rod near his arm. And what does that feel like? It feels really tingly. Tingly. Excellent. Exactly what it's supposed to feel like. Tingly, thanks. Uh, that feeling is called formication. That's F-O-R-M-I-C-A-T-I-O-N. That's a medical term for a tingling sensation. So you always feel that near a charged object. So there we go. We got sound. We have formication. A third effect that you can see with a charged object is I'll take these pith balls. These are little really light balls that have been colored to look nice. And they tend to get charged up. And if I bring the Teflon rod charged near the pith balls, you can see as I move it across, they start to move and they fly around under the influence of the charged rod. So there you have something begin to move. It felt a force. It has mass. It went from zero velocity to some higher velocity. So we applied a force. So that's three things going on. So clearly something is happening with this rod when I rub it with a fur. So let's look and see if we can figure out what's going on. 